Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about low code and the future. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do you feel about low code applications and is there a future for such for those sorts of applications? And the short answer is yes. I do believe so, but I don't believe that we are approaching this or the vast majority of low code applications are approaching this in the right way. Let me explain. So something that I will argue is that there is no way to foresee changing in requirements or changes in requirements. That's not possible. You can pretty much never completely foresee what's going to come around the corner. You're almost never going to be able to accurately predict what business requirements you're going to have today versus you're going to have in have tomorrow. You can, with experience, with a lot of experience and an intimate understanding of a specific company, understand, oh, this company is working in this way and tomorrow they're going to work in that way. Now, with that sort of intimate knowledge, and these, this is the, sort, the little bit of a tip here, to the developers out there, this is, this is the sort of shit that if you know this, you will be human gold to a company. This is the stuff that leads to promotions. This is the stuff that makes you the most valued person in the company. So with that sort of intimate knowledge, you might be able to foresee something, but when you are developing an off the shelf solution, such as a low code solution, you don't really have that luxury. You don't really have the luxury of saying, okay, you know what? We're gonna create a low code solution now that fits all of these different business requirements. And that's unfortunately the way that quite, of these, quite a lot of these low code solutions are being manufactured. They're trying to solve a universal problem for many different, uh, different companies so that of course their application is going to be more popular. And I don't think that that has, I think that that's gonna pretty much stay where it is today. I believe that that's not going to go very far. If we look at historically the last 10 years, I mean, the rise in popularity for things such as WordPress and so forth and other solutions where you kind of don't have to write all that much code. It's been, I mean, it's always been fairly popular to have these sorts of solutions because, you know, people who without coding skills and people without money to pay for programmers, they need stuff done as well. They need, but they usually they are confined to very basic limited options, such as WordPress and so forth. Now, I'm not saying that WordPress or similar solutions are necessarily bad. I'm just saying that it's very rare that a person who uses WordPress just feels like, oh, this feeds my every requirement, that this is a perfect fit. It's usually it's a compromise to use these solutions. And that's the, that's the thing that I don't think is going to change all that much. But what I do believe is that we are moving towards low code solutions or at higher level abstractions that will allow you to ship away more of the, let's call it the boilerplate of working or the boilerplate of setting up a business. I believe that the future, if there is such a thing in, in terms of low code solutions, is that you develop low code solutions for specific areas of industry. That I do believe is truly something that is going to take over and truly is going to make the difference. Now, if you think about certain areas of IT, you will know that certain, like if you're working with different electricity companies and stuff like that, I don't know if that's the case for you here where, where you are, but usually there are certain industries that have already sort of adopted this, where if you look at flight, like the the air travel industries and so forth, they have specific systems that are all but an industry standard. Like it's the same thing with graphic design or for engineering and things of this nature. There are certain programs or let's take Photoshop as an example. That's also a great like analogy or connection to make here. It's these sorts of tools these sort of products, they are an example of, well, not necessarily a low code solution, but they are abstractions on top of a workflow that are so well made for that specific industry that everybody uses it. It's like, this, it's an entire education. It's just part of the tooling. And that's the sort of thing I truly believe is going to be the future. I think that we've just scratched the surface just, just yet. 
And I believe that m solutions very similar to how the electricity companies are running here in Sweden. Have, we have a, like most of them are using the same platform and they have certain abilities to customize their application. Like the core foundation of the system is the same thing, but they can inject certain modules and certain code to connect to different areas and to be able to take incoming requests or write things to a specific database or write things to email and so forth. But like the, all the user interfaces, like all of the experiences, the accounts, all of that is already taken care of. It's pretty much already done and you just have to inject your own business logic. And that is the thing that I truly believe is where we're all, that's what where everything is heading towards. And not necessarily some, we're not necessarily going to call every solution a low code solution because I believe that things such as serverless is also just kind of up and coming, but we are heading in that direction. If we are looking at the solutions that Docker and Kubernetes and things of this nature and cloud native and like all of these terms that have come around in the past decade, I think that there's a very clear trend. And the trend is that you are we are trying to allow one person or one developer to do more and more with like in an ever expanding ecosystem and that is absolutely i believe the way to go about it and i think that there is such a massive Im amount of opportunities to be had in, in, in like in the startup world for people who just figure out that you know what i know let's say for the sake of boring i know the bakery industry I know that all of them, they're kind of facing mostly the same problems. There are certain things that each company is doing differently. And these things we're going to allow people to write their own code for. Like, let's create a, like an isolate, kind of like WordPress. Like the bulk of the application is pretty much the same, but you have certain modules that have to be customizable because you can, as I said, never perfectly create a product that fits every single company. So there has to be a little bit of wiggle room. So you might make... 90% of the application and you leave 10% leave for things such as integrations, setting up models, etc, etc, and like the different data structures that you might have. So what I want you to take away from this is that I believe that we've just started to scratch the surface of what low code solutions are capable of doing. I believe that this is the end goal for all of IT. I believe that this is the thing that is going to make me and my, well, in the next generation of programmers well, not obsolete necessarily, but this is the thing that we're all building towards. We're trying to create better abstractions so that you don't have to have like several years of education and practice to be able to make something that fits an, an IT need. It, it should be easier than this. And I believe that although we may not have low code solutions today that are a perfect fit for every company i i think that the future is going to going to contain more and more of these very specialized tools that are be, they they kind of be, become an industry standard for a specific industry or some something like that and for you programmers out there who might be working in different companies and so forth i actually believe that you should be thinking yourself about your internal processes. We do it at my job. I've, I've done it at pretty much every job I've had so far. We've identified that, oh, we've created this amazing feature and we're making money from it, but there's all these daily tasks and things that don't really require developer work. And if we just create a low code solution or an abstraction or some administrative tool on top of that, da that those daily processes, we can actually fork off all of that cost and development time that we would have to spend in order to maintain this to a user relationship team or a support team or something like that that now are empowered to be able to do this by, by themselves. In a sense, we're of course at the same time making ourselves obsolete, but hey, nobody ever said that programmers were smart. Have a great day.